You're asked very frequently about who you're supporting for the GOP, and I don't want to ask you that because I know you frequently say I'm looking towards the next generation. I want to ask about the next generation. Do you see that? Rising stars, are you optimistic that there are those there who can carry the mantle? I, I've learned uh, there's always people who appear uh, who you had no expectation. So, so when Barack Obama uh, was elected as senator, um, it was, wasn't even within a year where he started running for president, and he became president soon thereafter. Uh, you know, there are other people uh, who will come and do that. Uh, American politics, I've found, at the presidential level is pretty volatile. Uh, the people you think are going to win, uh, whether it was uh, Hillary uh, in 2016, and they didn't win. Uh, other, other people who were no place, um, you know, they end up winning. Uh, and, you know, um, in, in 2015, about where we are now uh, for a presidential election for the Republicans, um, you, you had the governor of uh, uh, Wisconsin in first place. You had Jeb Bush in second place. Uh, you, you had Rudy Giuliani uh, in third place. And, and by the time there were two or three primaries, they were all gone. Mm -hmm. Uh, and somebody named Donald Trump won who wasn't even in the game. Uh, and, and so I think all the straight line predictions uh, of, of what's going to happen, uh, I, I sort of um, just sit back and say, I've seen a lot of volatility in my life of what the public wants. Uh, you know, uh, apparently the public is not that interested uh, in uh, really right. older people. Right. Uh, I think there was a survey that said 77 percent of the people didn't want Biden to run yeah. again. Uh, and, and so when you have that kind of um, situation, usually something else happens.